Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls in the Star Daily Card Reading for August 17th, 2021. Uh, there could be, okay, there might be an event happening today. Um, we'll have to see. As always, I do record these ahead of time. Now this portion of it, if you haven't checked out the daily, please go, or excuse me, if you haven't <laughs> checked out the weekly, please make sure that you do that. The dailies are just a breakdown and going a little more in depth day by day of the weekly. So that'll give you an overview. And of course, I'm encouraging everybody to do some heart centering. I do have a free meditation and Archangel Raphael meditation on my channel, but if you would like to go a little bit deeper, I have put up the seven day Archangel Raphael meditation challenge. I'm getting so good at saying that. That is a mouthful. <laughs> and as I have the Metatron meditation challenge and the Archangel Michael meditation challenge over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. And of course, if you would like a more personal take on what's going on for you, angelsouls444.com. If you would like an Akashic Records reading, please make sure that you specify that in the submission form. So for today, there could be something coming up. There's this big theme here of how people need to feel superior and how they control. And some people go so far to want to control that they control whether someone lives or not. We see this quite a bit. There will be violence ramping up in places where we thought things had settled. Um, I, oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. Displaced. I'm hearing displaced. So people having to leave their homes. And it's around the world. This is not just like, oh, like here, there's wildfires. I live in Colorado. Um, and we are in that season. And yeah, just about every summer I've had to be like ready to go to evacuate. Last year there was a, a fire that broke out, a pretty major one, a mile away from where I live. <laughs> that was fun. And my car was in the shop. So if I had to evacuate, I couldn't. Um, but yeah, it, it was a whole thing. But I feel like this is not just that. Yes, it could be floods. It could be fires. It could be a volcano. It could be an earthquake. It could be what have you. More people got evacuated, I think, from a condo. Where was that? I didn't see the whole story um, because once again, there was, you know, fear of it collapsing. Um, it could be war. It could be, I don't tell you guys. I mean, we're doing the best we can here from our standpoint. But if you're watching this and you have some sort of power in this world, let's say you have very 3D power. Hopefully you're not somebody who abuses it. Um, you better get right with your heart. I can't say it any clearer than that. You better get right with your heart. Because you're needed too. You're needed to not keep pumping up this greedy narrative, if that's how you've lived, maybe not. Um, or to keep pumping up this idea that the only thing that matters in this world is your reputation. And how you look and how much money you make and what your title is. No, <laughs> we need you. If, if you're a leader out there and, you know, not talking to the evil people, obviously, bye. Okay, girl, bye. <laughs> but we're talking about the people who can use their voice, if it's already established, to bring people together. Now, a lot of people won't choose that. They're not the ones watching this channel, but they're not going to choose that. Why? Because it threatens their power, it threatens their image. And that's what we're up against here, so... I think this is probably a really big reason why in the weekly, especially for the kind of audience I have here, please make sure that you're subscribed because if you subscribe and you support this type of messaging, it will kick up into the YouTube algorithm. More people will see it. If your immediate thought was, well, Michelle, you just want to look more popular. I don't care about looking popular. I want these messages to have reach. That's why I'm here. Do you think it's fun to be 44 and on freaking YouTube? It's a nightmare. You know how much things change? You know how not tech savvy I am? Okay, listen, <laughs> like this is a struggle daily. But, you know, I wanted to get out there. And yes, of course, you know, that I have to make a living too. But, you know, as long as I can pay my bills, I'm not asking for a yacht. Didn't we have a joke about a yacht? When was that? <laughs> Refresh my memory, I forget. But I just want to be able to take care of myself. But besides all of that, I want this message to get out there. Start paying attention to what's going on. And yes, you can use social media platforms as an example. 
the people who are sort of the junk food of messaging, I said it, the junk food of messaging have a ton of people watching that and engaging in that. And it's not just me. There are plenty of other YouTubers out there who have messages. They're trying to get some light out there. We're doing the best here. <laughs> okay. And no one's looking at it. I don't care about the marketing part of it. I don't care about popularity. Not everybody does. I know it's hard for some people to understand. We need to get this message out there. And we need to stop being so damn shallow. We need to stop feeding into something that's just mildly entertaining. Not that that's bad, but you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, not just letting all of our life force go into that. It's important. This is, these are important times. And if you want to help, then you got to step up. Okay? Not just for my channel. I'm saying for anybody out there who has a heartfelt, genuine message. I don't care if it's a soap maker. I don't care if it's a politician. <laughs> I don't care if it is a CEO or, you know, an ont another entrepreneur or, you know, whoever, a lawyer, a doctor. Like, make sure that you're backing up the people who are genuine. Yeah, because it, it, it's, it's the final time. And what I mean by that, I think what's going to end up happening is that there's only so much, we call them light workers, right? Light workers who are in their integrity and haven't been too influenced by the 3D world. Um, there's only so much that they can do. And I think we're at a time now where if we don't start letting them be loved and supported, you're showing, we're all showing them that the message that they have to give is not important and they're going to start retreating. When you do that, we're done. We're done. Okay? Darkness wins. <sighs> Shadow self. What are we giving into? What are we giving into? Are we giving into our fears, our insecurities? Please just tell me how it's going to go. Don't tell me about anything deep that I actually have to think about and have to work on. Just tell me what I want to hear. Just tell me everything's going to be great. If you don't believe me, go off and, you know, again, in whatever way, whatever narrative is being pumped into your life right now. Go back and ask yourself, the stuff that I believed, was it true? The stuff that I listened to, was it true? And then what are you going to do with that? It is time for us to face our shadow selves. It is, you know, and I'm right there too. There are things that scare me. I have days where I wake up and go, what is going on with this world? Why do I feel like, like I try to go, like, you know, communicate with someone or go hang out with them? And immediately there's power struggles. They're just trying to be controlling. Um, they're not being respectful of my time or they're just talking about themselves. And now I'm feeling drained. And, you know, comment down below if you've experienced this. And then what happens? Isolation. At least in my case, I pull back and I'm like, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home and I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit on my balcony and have some tea and everybody leave me alone. Right. So, <laughs> so, you know, that is tapping into, you know, for me, that, that would be an example of like trust issues. I want to have connection with others, but I want it to be a true soul level connection because I don't know about you guys watching this, but I know I wake up in the morning and it's just, it's not pressure. It's, it's a purpose that's pulsing every moment of every day. And I really, I know it sounds pompous and I don't mean it in that way, but I don't have time for games. I don't have time for that. So if somebody's going to show up in my world, you don't have to agree with me. You don't have to live your life the way I do. I prefer you don't actually. I, I think, <laughs> I think that's way more interesting, but it shouldn't be, um, I don't know, just pettiness. And there, there shouldn't be this feeling of, I got to watch my back with you or, um,
you know what I mean? Like no toxicity, I think is what I'm getting at. But again, when we're, you know, facing ourselves, where does that toxicity come from? Well, it comes from a myriad of things, you know, a lack of self-worth or uh, trauma or, you know, being self-centered or, you know, it could be so many different things. So this would be the time to examine this. Again, if you are somebody who you're feeling a little overwhelmed, like things are too much, it's okay to retreat. Make sure, of course, you're getting proper help. Be very discerning about what therapist you choose. As I was saying in one of the videos, um, a lot of therapists get through who are very invalidating. Maybe they're standing up, you're trying to do trauma healing, they're standing up for the perpetrator. <laughs> it happens. So just be careful, be aware, but make sure you're getting proper help. Let's leave this day here. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.